Okay, so later on today, guys, we get another hot fix for Borderlands 3, which are just many, many things. Buffs weapons, nerfs certain weapons, changes to our Vault Hunters, and much, much more. How's it going, guys? My name's DP Jen. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out, and subscribe if you want to see daily Borderlands videos. Also, guys, every week I am giving away a copy of Borderlands 3 to win it for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so this patch, this hotfix arrives later today, 3 p.m. PDT, which is later on this afternoon, UK time. With it comes many, many changes, so let's get into it. Weapon hotfixes, Maliwan. Western gun damage increased by 25%. ASMD damage increased by 28%. Cutsman damage reduced by 25%. Oh no, this is my favourite weapon in the game, and they're nerfing it. Why, Gearbox? Why? TDO weapons. Okay, so the 10 gallon increased damage by 8%. So that's not a massive increase to be. I mean, it was, you'll see the difference. You will see the difference, but even so. Flayed off weapons. Sickle reload speed increased by 25%. Phasor damage increased by 15%. Infinity damage increased by 40%. Magnificent damage increased by 25%. Jericho damage increased by 40%. Lucian's cool accuracy and handling reduced. What? Lyuda critical damage bonus decreased by 30% and made a modification to address a reported bug that an extra bullet was spawned in the center. Wow, Lyuda got a dirty nerf. Wow, that's crazy. They talk more about the Lyuda. The Lyuda's functionality is to split the projectile from one to three after a certain distance. It was reported that the original projectile never destroyed in the process of splitting, so one projectile actually became four. Addressing this concern effectively removes a full shot worth of damage, which auto corrects the base damage of the weapon. Since we increased all sniper rifle critical damage bonus in a previous hotfix, we reduced some of the critical damage bonus on the Lyuda. So wow, the Lyuda actually got a, quite a hefty nerf. That's crazy. Okay, so torque weapons. Tribolt damage increased by 25%. Alchemist damage increased by 25%. Devil's Force on damage increased by 13%. Flacken now consumes the full magazine when fired and damage is reduced by 33%. What are they doing? These are my weapons, people. I use the Lauda. I use the Cutsman. I use the Flacker. These are in my load. These are the weapons I go to. Wow. They talk more about the Flacker. The Flacker was greatly outperforming other shotguns due to the number of projectiles and the high rate of fire. We initially believed the resulting projectile spread would cause most of the explosions to miss the target. However, this turned out to be false. So we reduced the projectile damage and allowed the weapon to only fire once per magazine. This change encourages players to capitalize on different stat bonuses to maximize the weapon's damage output. Wow guys, that's crazy. Laser exploder rocket projectile spawn interval increased by 0.4 seconds. Jacobs. Maggie damage increased by 35% and Hal Walker damage reduced by 8%. Hyperion weapons. We found that a couple of the legendary Hyperion weaponry bypassed the Hyperion manufacturer playstyle, too easily making their bonuses greatly outweigh the penalties. The Butcher was drastically outperforming all metrics and we chose to reduce the damage in order to keep the fast fire rate. Conference call damage increased by 15%. Crossroad accuracy reduced and it now fires 3 projectiles instead of 4. Butcher accuracy reduced and damage reduced by 25%. Wow. Dull. Vanquisher damage increased by 20%. Children of the Vault. Skepsis damage increased by 15%. Lineage damage increased by 20%. Pain is power damage increased by 25%. Atlas. Ruby's Wrath damage increased by 10%. Craziness. Grenades. Oh no, people, it's coming. I can just feel it. My two favorite grenades are going to be nerfed. That's the first thing they state. Hex and Firestorm were collaborated to the wrong grenade modifier. These two grenades were envisioned to specialize by applying elemental DLTs to targets. Instead, they were resulting in large amounts of damage and the elemental DLTs were minimal. We realized this is a drastic change on both of these grenades, but we did not want to remove the spectacle of the grenade. Number of grenades spawned, number of targets hit, etc. And focus on allowing their core identity to be emphasized instead of them continuing to just be high damage grenades. Hunter Seeker damage increased by 25%. Hex Grenade reduced by 70% and duration reduced to 3 seconds. Firestorm damage reduced by 70%. Yeah. 
What have they done? Gearbox, what are you doing to my perfect loader? Wow. It was reported that the legendary artifact elemental projector had a bug resulting in the max value being displayed at 183% instead of the actual max value of 130. And therefore, we address the decrepancy and reduce the max value to 90%. Elemental projector damage max roll reduced to 90% craziness guys so there's a lot of testing i will be doing so stay tuned for that vault hunter adjustments iron bear health increased by 50 percent all pets health increased by 50 percent digiclone health increased by 100 percent addressed a bug with salvation where grenades were giving life steal so that's a decent change a decent buff to well many of the actual vault hunters i'm loving the digiclone health increased by 100 percent though we need that on zayn Bug fixes. Cycles will now use their true Vault Hunter mode name in true Vault Hunter mode. Remove the optional rare spawn missions from Galaxy Progress. Addressed a reported bug where completely sane Sid didn't always become hostile when using Fleck. Addressed a reported bug where Ratch would not properly spawn during Ratched Up, which potentially blocked completion of that side mission. Included a modification so Lilith would continue to move toward the door in Shiv's uh, conversion chamber during From the Ground Up. Lowered the chance of a weapon to drop from the Pachinko machine. Included a modification so that Zayn's Digiclone will no longer spawn in the cage in System of Slaughter. Wow, I actually saw that glitch yesterday. Shield boosters were modified and are now set for auto pickup. An addition was introduced so Iridium chests are no longer listed as red chests in the Echo Cast extension on Sanctuary 3. And that is it guys, some crazy changes coming, some nerfs, some buffs, but mainly nerfs to many, many of our weapons, the Flacker, the Layuda, the Cutsman, the Hex and Firestorm grenades. Wow, Gearbox, what are you doing? I mean, like, it ain't a bad thing, I suppose. They are making things way too easy, which obviously we all like a challenge. We all like to find new ways of making the game easy. That's what this hotfix will end up doing. People will just find other ways of playing, which is a good thing in my opinion. So yeah, guys, that is it for this hotfix. Some crazy changes. Some actually some decent changes in my opinion. I do like the one because I'm a Zane man, as you guys know. Digiclone health increased by 100% is great. Iron Bear health increased by 50%. Did it really need that? I'm not too sure. You most people out there, let me know about that. All pets health increased by 50%. Again, you flax out there. Do your pets really need increased health by 50%? I'm not sure you do. Now, Digicon, Zane's Digicon dies instantly most of the time. So, I mean, you don't even get a chance to. Like, obviously, with the skill trees, you can apply buff to your damage output and so forth when switching places with your Digicon. But many times in battle, you don't even get a chance to. You pull it down, you, you spawn your Digicon, and he dies instantly. It's just crazy in the skies. But, yeah, we definitely need that on Zane. And there's going to be some great testing to come from me. So stay tuned for that, guys. Again, this drops uh, 3 p.m. PDT, which I believe probably 5, 6, 7 o'clock UK time. I'm not entirely sure. It could be a little bit late. could be a little bit earlier even. I'm not too sure, but it will be later today. So hey-ho. Stay tuned for an update on your platform. When you do the update, these changes will be applied. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.